Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you very much for joining me for another video. So today's video is a super exciting one because it's going to be the first of three renovation videos. So I've kind of said here and there but not really completely like told you what I'm doing. So a little bit of background information. I live in the middle of nowhere in a barn conversion. The house is gorgeous and very, very beautiful but it's also very, very dated. And I've been wanting to kind of upscale and renovate my bedroom for a while and I finally got around to it. So prior to actually starting the kind of decorating renovation process, I did a lot of research and kind of decided what I wanted. From the beginning though, I kind of wanted my room to feel as though it was like a hotel vibe because I always sleep the best and I enjoy my time when I stay over in hotels. So I was like, why not try and bring that feel home and make it like my bedroom to feel luxurious and inviting. So that's the kind of plan behind the whole thing. And then going into like specifics, I will insert a few pictures here on the screen of the kind of style that I'm going for. I did a lot of research on Pinterest and kind of saved some inspiration and kind of noticed that I really liked just a nice, clean, fresh, neutral looking room. So that's what I've decided to go for and I'm just so excited for it to be done. I can't wait to do like the final video and the final before and after because yeah, I am really, really excited for it. Obviously, I want it to kind of have a bit of a hotel vibe, but I, do, I don't have endless funds. This is going to be on a budget. Um, and I have had some money saved to the one side, so I thought why not kind of invest it into my room and really create a space that I can enjoy and relax in, because obviously life can be stressful. So I think it's going to be nice to have a little tranquil place that's hopefully going to stay organized and clean and tidy that I can just chill out in. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the kind of first few steps that we did in the kind of decorating process. So obviously we've been painting the walls. Um, we had to cover one of the walls because it was already quite a dark color. We've painted the skirting boards and yeah, I think there's also going to be some images in there of the swatches that I did like when I was picking out the paint. So I'm going to talk you through that and what color I've decided to go for. And I think there's also a little sneak peek of the carpet that I've chosen there as well. But obviously I will be revealing the full flooring um, in a different video. So I think I won't ramble on anymore because I could just keep talking about the room and my ideas for ages. But I'm sure all you're interested in is seeing the before and afters and the process. So for the next section of the video, it's going to be a talk over of all of the little clips that I filmed and just kind of talk you through the process and what we're doing basically. But other than that, I hope you enjoy. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up if you do enjoy it and if you're excited for the next couple of videos. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. When it comes to decorating the bedroom, obviously you've got to decide on what paint colour you want. And I did some research and because I wanted it to be luxurious, I opted for a faro and ball one. So here you can see the three swatches all next to each other. First of all, we have Elephant's Breath, which is a really nice kind of creamy neutral colour, slightly too dark for what I was looking for. The second colour we have is Skimming Stone and that's the colour I went for. It's neutral, it's kind of got um, hints of grey, hints of like a beigey colour, but it's just a nice in-between colour of the two on the outside. The last one we have is Cornforth White, which is a gorgeous colour, but it's just a little bit too grey for what I was looking for. So here you can see all of them colours on the wall. I think that's a good kind of representation of what they all looked like in natural lighting. And this is the first wall that we're going to be dealing with. As you can see, it's a pretty big wall, so it did take quite a while to do. Um, and obviously there's the window. So that um, blind is going to be taken down. I think it's absolutely awful. I'm going to be swapping it out for possibly a Venetian blind. And we did have to paint the window and things as well. And there's the carpet looking absolutely awful. So here's a little sneak peek of the carpet samples and there's the carpet that I've gone for but I'm not going to leave that on too long so I can do a reveal. Here's the window and here's just the, squat the swatches again. Um, so that as you can see the window was a really kind of awful green colour, not the kind of vibe I was going for whatsoever. So here we have a full view of the wall, that random box at the top, I don't know what it is but we've decided to completely fill it in so you'll be able to see the process of that. Then there's the skirting boards in a not so nice green. 
here we go, starting the painting process in this gorgeous colour, I'm so happy with it. Um, I'm not sure why I'm using a tiny roller, I think it was the only one I had at the time. And then here's the very kind of start, obviously it looks messy but everything was being painted over and that's what the wall looked like complete and I'm very very happy with it. And there you can see we have taken the blind off that window now so I'm excited to get a fresh one in there. And if you're wondering what that square is at the top, that box, I'm not sure what it is but I'm pretty sure bugs and things have come through it before so I wanted to kind of fill in all of the um, gaps so we had to cover a few of them over with wood because they were really quite wide. And here you can see the first layer of white has gone onto the window, obviously you still need so many more layers and that pane of glass needs replacing because for some reason it has water in it. Um, that's what you get with an old barn conversion I guess. Um, and then yeah that was just the kind of first few steps of that. Here we have the wall on the other side of the room. This is the first layer of white that we did. We needed to cover the colour that was underneath. There you can see I've just done a little swatch to make sure it's going to cover of the farrow and ball paint. And here we have it, a nice good amount of the wall painted. Obviously this is the first layer. There was a few more layers to go on after this. And here we have a lovely little pan of the room, how it's looking so far. I am honestly so so happy with the colour and as you can see we have filmed in that awful box and covered over a couple of the beams just to kind of blend it all in. There's the other side of the room looking absolutely fabulous, I'm honestly so so happy with this colour and we have the little window there that we have also painted white as well. And just for that little bit of video there you really can see the room. And yeah, I'm honestly so, so, so happy with it. I think this colour is just gorgeous and it just looks its best in natural lighting when the sun's shining through the windows. And there you can just see the little window at the bottom nicely painted. And we did do a couple of layers of paint of white on the radiators just to brighten them up because they had faded over time and I just wanted it to look modern and fresh. So that is where the room's up to so far. I can't wait to share the next two videos with you. Um, as I said, the next video is going to be the panelling wall and the floor reveal. And then the video after that, we're going to be doing a bit of DIY and building some flat pack furniture and getting the room all styled up and completed. Can't wait for that video, so excited. Um, but other than that, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. And I shall see you in my next one.